he looked so like he looked so lost. Come here. How bad was your day? You be alright? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh. Speaking of that, I don't want to be an adult thing. Oh. How are you? I'm right. <laughs> cool. You what? You're cool? Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, no, it's... I just, like, then I was like, hey, send an email to, like, the company, and we're like, whoa, well, well, you know, we had to let that one go, but it was a good run. <laughs> so, it's cool. I just... I don't know, and then they're all like, good decision. I'm like, yeah, no, if anyone else wants to start doing that, so I'm not the bad guy, let me know. I don't know, everything's fine. Everything, that's great. <laughs> What's up? How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How was your day? I thought that was you talking. You were kind of talking to your purse, I wasn't sure. I'm um, good though, relaxing compared to yours, I'm sure. It's okay. My days are like this probably every day, so I don't know. All right. Where do you want to? You want to stay here? Yeah. Um, we can have a drink here and then go from there. Okay. Why not? I mean, we're here, so. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on. Let's, uh, what do you like? Um. <laughs> It's right here. Do you think you order here or here? Oh. Or Matthew Gora. Can we order back here or no? Sure, what can I get you? Sure. Oh, what do you want? Oh, uh, tequila, seltzer, a couple lines. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll take a um, berry vodka soda. I should have a uh, raspberry vodka soda. Um, I should have a tab open too. I'm really happy we got to hang out. Yeah. Sorry. It's all good. I get more normal. Probably this after the week, I guess. Saturdays would be really good. Okay. Well, normal's fine, but just don't ever be boring, you know. Just don't, don't, don't cross the normal threshold into the boring range. That's what you want to avoid. I'm Sounds getting good. up early tomorrow, dude. I'm going riding. You should come to the mountain. Huh. What? Huh. Yeah, right. What? I said you're going to go snowboarding with me tomorrow. I'm oh, skating. I didn't know. I didn't know I was still invited. I... You are. Um, one second, um, yes. It was the follow-up of the, the thing. I will say I've never been invited snowboarding so quickly by a new, a new acquaintance. I was, I was flattered. So I know very little about you or what you do, but that's okay. You seem... Okay, no work. Let's talk about how you're tiny and frazzled but kind of adorable right now. What? Thank you. You're welcome. Usually when I'm frazzled, I feel the least adorable. I'm sorry. Alright. Yeah, you'll be good. So thank you. Um, tell me about you. You are very like, you are very like little kiddish. I mean, like very, you have this sort of like innocence about it. It's very charming. I try to hide from most things, and I keep myself in quite a bubble. Okay. And like, I don't know, everyone's always trying to pop it, but like, I won't let them. I'm like, no, I'm just not going to get involved in anything like that, you know? So I try to steer clear of um, everything I can steer clear of that isn't like okay, you know, or like not the worst. Or whatever, so I get thrown a lot of curveballs though. I'm always kind of dodging. So, right. I just, Are you still dealing with texts no, and emails? I just want to make sure that, like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. I just want to make sure. I would much rather, if there's something that's on your mind, get it handled and then, like, give me your full attention instead of, like, being sporadic. It's fine. No, I'll put my phone away um, completely. That, you know, I'll be honest, the irony is that um, I, I, I really actually don't work on Fridays. Like, I do everything 
I could possibly do to not work on Fridays. But today was like a special day where it was like shit hit the fan. And I knew I just knew based on all the things that I was like, well, it's just not going to work out this Friday. But we're going to try it again for next week. <laughs> So I have never had a Friday like that because I um, don't work for anybody. So like I'm the boss. So if I want to take Friday off, I take Friday off. Um, but I have my own different issues and stresses, I suppose. Um, I love this zipper. I'm, I'm avoiding all temptation to unzip it. Um, I, I don't know. From Colorado originally, traveled essentially for the last 15 years. Now I live in New York, and um, I kind of love everything. What are, you, what are you the boss of? What am I the boss of? Um, it's a few different things. Um, I started off as a poker player, so I played poker professionally for a few years. Made some money, started investing that, and then I own a few media companies and I do an investment thing and have some employees, some camera guys, some web guys, that kind of stuff. Oh, what? I do. Um, I worked really hard for a number of years, but now it's it's been worth it. Now I don't have to work so hard. Which is good. Thank you. Did you um? So you're snowboarding and then you're attitude. Do you play a lot of sports growing up? You have this very like playful, youthful thing about you. So, but then my parents were really strict. Very strict to me. And I didn't no boys can hold the house or like come over or talk to me and until I was like literally 18 years old. So and I wasn't allowed to do much, but the only thing my parents let me do was snowboard. Like when I would go to school and hang out with my girlfriends and we would do anything, they would always talk about a lot of nonsense, you know, like boys and this person cheated on that person and that girl is that. And I was like, all I heard was noise, a lot of noise, and I was like, I don't know what your guys are talking about, I'm just going to go sleep, I don't know, I'm going to go sleep. you know, like, fuck that, I don't want to hear it, this sounds like silliness, so I got like a mentality of like, none of what you're talking about matters, like, let's just have a good time, you know, and be in the moment, instead of like, whatever that is, so, I don't know, if my friends are cool, but, I mean, most people, it's hard to get them to wrap their brain around, like, that is strong. Get people to wrap their brain around, like, um, I don't know, like, just having fun, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, everyone's so caught up in everything, so, um, when I am, when I have time, and like, on the weekends when I'm with my friends, I always come up with new tips. You are absolutely adorable, just so you know. Really? Yeah, really, you are. We have video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so are you going to stay put and live here? Does she live here? I don't know. I like the city a lot. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for me to be here. I also like to travel. So, I mean, like, I've lived here for almost a year, but... I spent about half of that traveling, so it might continue. Something like that. Why? You have this very. You have, I, I literally I can't read your expressions at all. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just asking questions and then processing them and then you know thinking of outcomes to them. Yeah. Don't start planning too far ahead just yet, but you are adorable. I'm not planning ahead at all, I'm just asking questions, so 
I know what there is a planning at. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so let's play a game. Any game will do. Do you have an idea? <laughs> I do have a game. Okay. All right, shoot, what do you got? Let's play, um... Let's just, um... Let's play Would You Rather. Would You Rather. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing by the name, two alternatives, and you have to pick? Yeah. Oh, boy. Do you want to get us started? So yeah. we can, I can tell what kind of tone this game's going to take? Okay. All right. Um, would you rather get your arm bit off by a shark or put your hand or go swimming in the ocean? What? No, no, no. Your arm got bit off by a shark or be blind. Arm. Okay. For sure. Ideally my left, but you know, either way. Right, ideally. Ideally. Alright, I'm good on that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. Alright, your turn. They have to be horrible? <laughs> no, mine only are, and I don't know why. They're just terrible questions. I'm not really, I haven't really evaluated as to how I came up with so many bad ones. But they're all very <laughs> Happy and light, like you know. All right. Would you rather never have a job you love or never snowboard again? As long as we're going negative. talk about today, I'm officially always, from now on, going to do something to take your mind off it. Okay? I like that. Do I have your permission? For sure. If you say, if you say job, today, work, anything like that, our permission to, like, to like, Lisa, we don't talk about that right now. Okay. Yeah. Fair? I like it. That's awesome. Okay. I have to give you credit. I don't think that you'll be boring. <laughs> that's that's something I, I think I can guarantee with you. Have you had an issue with boring? Yes. Tell me more. A lot of people bore me. A lot of people like don't think for themselves, don't know who they are. They do all the things their parents told them, all the things their teachers told them. I don't like those kind of people. Okay. I like, there's this, um, I think it's a Jack Kerouac quote, but it says like the only people for me are the mad ones. The ones with like crazy passion and crazy desire and crazy ambition that are a little all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how the quote goes. You could look it up. But yeah, I like that. That that phrase. The only people for me are the mad ones. Okay. Yeah. It's my my first criteria. Don't be bored. I think you achieved the first criteria. There's some other criteria we're gonna work on, but like I think the first criteria you're good. Alright, I like that there's a checklist and I'm fucking killing it. So, you're done with your drink ready, sir. Take your time. I have a little left, sir. What were you drinking? Uh, raspberry vodka and soda. Very, very girly. What are you, tequila and what? Seltzer water. Tequila and what? Okay. But the lime really adds to it, you know what I mean? It really complements. It brings everything all around. Uh -huh. Very interesting. I'm not doing this 
just so you know. I love these. No, no, no. no. I'm trying to. No. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. I love your facial expressions. That was a little presumptuous, actually, of you. It is not presumptuous if you pull my head and you're looking right at me and you bring it to your face that I would think that anything differently. I mean, seriously. I appreciate that. I appreciate that's what's on your mind. That's very presumptuous. Uh huh. You are a very interesting individual. I will give you that for sure. All right. That said, you are either one of the most unique or one of the most strange people I've ever met. I'm not quite sure. Well, which is kind of what I was gonna tell you, but then I don't know. Oh my god. Oh what? Uh, I mean, it. Yeah. I guess. You also have like tiny hands. How tall are you? I'm little. No. I call you. You're, you're relatively little. Like five three, five four, something like that. Okay, I like that. Like that. How tall are you? I like that. How tall are you for real? Five two, five one, five zero. How tall are you? I like your number better. Yeah. Yeah. Four eleven. I mean, like we can keep going. I know you're not that short. What are you, like 5'1", 5'2"? I mean, like, really, it's just a number, right? I mean, really, are we really going to go in that route? I mean... You're just... I'm you're pretty just, tall. I'm pretty tall. You're pretty tall? You're not pretty tall, are you kidding? Okay, if you say so. Yeah, you're huge. How tall are you? Like, 5'9"? Right, like you're I'm like not, a, like, super tall. I'm, yeah. like, small. Yeah, you're, like, small. I'm, like, small. That's what she said. It was very disappointing. Small dude. It's terrible. You're a little guy. <laughs> Alright, well, I feel like I'm thinking. Thank you. For the entire rest of her life, for having her hand cut off, what would you pick? Hand, because the bananas would probably like give me cancer pretty fast. I'd probably die of some awful thing oh from not getting these things. To be fair. <laughs> oh my god! Like that's so funny. I probably would, right? If you only ate bananas, you'd probably die in like six months anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You're really actually very. You are very... What? Analytical? I know. High five. Oh, you like that? Oh you my like god! That? So the most... So, I'll tell you. Okay. I play this game with my friends, you know, like, whatever. And we have this thing where we have a Jenga set, right? Uh -huh. You know Jenga? Right. So, like, on the Jenga set, like, when you move a piece, right? Everybody takes a piece and they write the question down, and then when they move the piece, someone else has to answer the question. Okay. I Fair usually enough. put dares on there just uh -huh. to fuck with everybody. Like, when they pick up, they have to make a dance move or something stupid or whatever. But I definitely put a couple of those questions in, you know? That was really what I put in. And everybody kept going bananas right around, right? Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, I'll need my other hand to open a fucking banana, right? So my girlfriend, Bella, though, after several times of answering in one way, she was all like, I'd be, you know what, fuck that, I'd be dead if I ate bananas. But you, it took her, like, I mean, we've been playing this game now for the last two weeks. So that pops up here and there. And, like, you know, what fucks with the answers? But she's the first one to be like, no, because I'll be dead from now nutrition. So I'm going to change that now. But you fucking, like, you. You are the first person I've met so far out of a group of very intelligent Polish people. And I mean that these Polish people are actually very intelligent people. Uh, contrary to stereotypes and jokes, yes. Absolutely. fucking lonely. They're brilliant motherfuckers. Are you both? I don't jump the gun. A lot. Oh, that's a lot from a little, but yes. So, okay, so, couldn't date to 18. How old you and you had your first kiss? I don't know. I'd like to play a game of foosball with you. Okay. <laughs> and I wanted to get there. How do you know about Brooklyn? 
I know that it is to the right of Manhattan on a map. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Go. 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 Right, right, right. I'm just listening. I'm going to be correct. It's to the east of Manhattan, but whatever. Um, it's to the right of Manhattan on a map. Um, I know that the L train goes over there, um, and I know that if I ever need to go somewhere in Brooklyn, I do this thing on my phone called Uber, and I hop in, and I put in an address, and I'm like, take me there. <laughs> That's what I know about Brooklyn. What's it like being you? Fuck, man. What? You know I was mad at you when I was coming here. Why? Because I couldn't find parking, and I'm like, and I hate the west side more than anything in the world, so I was cursing you out. Like, after I was looking for a spot, I'm like, how the fuck did I have on the west side? Like, how did that even happen? <laughs> I was really mad at you. Tell me how much you hate me. I was only mad at you. No, 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 like, specific. Tell me how much you hate me. Be like, Todd, I fucking hate you. You're an asshole. You're terrible. Tell me how much. It was only at the moment because I had such a long day and I was like, you know what? I had such a bad day. Like, how am I going to the west side where I hate? I was like so mad at you. So mad. And the parking around here is bullshit. I'm so sorry to put you through the herring experience of beating me. Are you hating every minute? <laughs> you kind of like me. I do. I don't know anything about you. As far as expectations, intentions, that kind of stuff, my intentions extend about as far as I'd like to have a good conversation with a fun person and see if we enjoy each other. Is that fair? Okay. And I don't necessarily intend on anybody, anybody putting rings on anybody's fingers like next week. I also don't intend on anything necessarily happening if anybody's not ready for anything like that. But I just kind of love the opinion that I think you're interesting and fun, and I would like to continue talking to you and getting to know you, and hopefully you think the same about me. And beyond that, let's just enjoy the process and figure it out from there. Is that fair? We're both young, fun, attractive people, and that's wonderful, but hopefully also we enjoy just hanging out and engaging with each other. Let's just do that and not worry about what the next step is until we get to the next step. Kind of in the spirit of your whole, let's not be too grown up and responsible and let's just like be kids and enjoy things kind of a thing. Let's do that tonight. You and me, let's just be kids, enjoy each other's company. It doesn't have to be rings on fingers. It doesn't have to be all sexual or anything weird. It doesn't have to be expectations or obligations. Let's just have fun together. Is that fair? You okay with that? Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Can you, like, take a breath and be okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah. Yeah? So what do you want to do? Huh? So what do you want to do? I think maybe... Um... Honestly, with you, the way that, like, your personality, I want to grab... It'd be hard to get a board game at this, this hour. So, a bottle of wine and a deck of cards. Find some random, dumb game to play and talk. Hang out in a place where there's not, like, a million people being loud and obnoxious. Where we can just get to know each other and have fun. And if we end up being friends, I'm cool with that. If we end up being way more than friends, all the better. There? Are you okay with this? Yeah? Okay. You're definitely quite thick and under. Now my guess is, for wine, there's a liquor store down the street we can buy a bottle. For cards, there's a CVS on the corner. They may have playing cards. And from there we can figure it out. I can't guarantee the CVS playing cards thing, but I think there's a chance. If not, we can find CBS games on the... CVS has games. Has games? Yeah? Alright. No, but like... <laughs> CPS uh -huh. has like. Okay, let me. Like, like. Like actual games? No, they have like games. Okay, right, let me close out my tab. Give me two seconds, and I will be with you. Okay? Is that fair? You agree with it? Yeah.
I don't know why I feel like possessing, protecting, and taking advantage of you all at once. I can't even quite decide. I will need to close out my tab at some point though. And it could be as much as I enjoy this, it could be obnoxious if I close out my tag with you tag with you tab with you hugging. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with this. The CVS is like really. Yeah. I mean, that's where. We'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll find something. Okay. You sound good? Yeah. Mm, you might just be fun. We're not. Um, we're not. I mean, we're playing games. Like, I'm not. We're not. Like, I'm not. What did I tell you about it? It's fine if we're just friends. It's fine. Well, it's not like I want to be friends with you. You know what I mean? I know. I just want to, like, I don't, I just don't want to jump the gun on things. I'm not, like, I don't want that. If that's, I just can't do that, like, because it's not a thing that I do. I promise you two things, okay? I'll make you two promises right now. What? Promise number one is that whatever we do should be enjoyable to both of us and if it's ever not then we should stop doing it well, that's I promise want, number one promise no, number I've, two no like i want to be clear like if you actually have intentions of hanging out with me and being in my life then i'm not like i don't want to just hook up with you or do anything like that right now like i want to just hang out and like not or wait and hang out again next time like i don't want to be like, I don't, like, I think things take a minute, and there are steps, and... Okay, so, pause. I appreciate that, and I'm glad you find me attractive and you're thinking me that way. I appreciate that. Um, I am fine with things taking however long they need to take, okay? I'm not one to, like, impl impose, like, a blanket rule on everything, but... Yes, I'm not also one to just, you know, get sexually involved with someone that I barely know or... Um, I, I'm pretty selective in terms of that, so I need to get to know you as well. Is that fair? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just going to jump into bed with you just, like, randomly either. I need to... It doesn't need to be fast or slow, or I'm not, I'm not about a specific time period, but I do need to know you. So... I hope we're on board in terms of that. Is that fair? You promise? That I have high standards and I need to know you? Yes, I promise that's true. No, yes. do you really do? No, really you do? Like, like, like us hanging out is like... Can I be, can I be arrogant for a moment? I don't, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I guess, sure. Okay. Why not? Like, I'm a pretty attractive person and I have lots of options. So yes, I'm pretty selective about who I will spend the time to go on a date with. I'm pretty selective about who I'll hook up with. I'm not gonna just like jump in anything without it with you without knowing you a bit. So if we get to know each other and it's amazing, I'm not gonna be like we must take 17 dates before, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the same time, I'm not gonna be the person to just like you know randomly get naked for you without having met you. You know what I mean? I need to know you a little bit as well. So what I suggested before is let's hang out, enjoy the process of getting to know each other, and let it end up being whatever it ends up being. If we end up being friends, great. If we end up being amazing lovers, great. If we end up being very serious, great, whatever. Fair? Well. But regardless. No, wait, I'm on. I'm not, wait, wait, I'm wait. Not just, I'm not, the point is no, I'm not ready fair. to jump in anything just yet either, okay? No, but they're like, if you're giving it a go, then like, are you giving it a go where you're giving it a go to try it 
Or are you going to be like giving it a go, but like trying it out, giving it a go with like a bunch of other people to give it a go and like pick which one works the best? Right now, my intentions extend about as far as a bottle of wine and a deck of cards. Is that fair? And good conversation, hopefully, with a very interesting girl who I know this much, but becoming this much. Because, I mean, honestly, I think that's, that's about the fairest I can say. So if you're on board to get to know me better, I'm definitely on board to get to know you better and find out if this girl is as cool as I think she is. I'm definitely very, very, very into that. But only if you're into it. If you are not into getting to know me better, then I'm not going to force you. I am down to hang out and, and get to know you. I just... I'm just exhausted right now. I'm so fucking tired and I live in Brooklyn and I still have to go there and like go to bed there and I really want to go snowboarding tomorrow and in all honesty I want to go to snowboarding together tomorrow. I know you can't go but I need to do this for me because I'm having a week and I got to get out of here. I really need to get out of here. And I just, um, I don't not want to hang out with you. It's just that it's after 10 and I'm so tired and... Can I ask, you, I, can I ask you a point blank, class, point all, blank question? Yeah. Are you nervous about hanging out with me? No, I'm just like, we're going to hang out till I don't know what time and then I still have to drive back to Brooklyn and I'm exhausted. Like, I don't want to drink more wine or... It's just so much right now. Like, I'm so... I'm, I'm, I've had a... I had a hard day, and it's not a you thing, it's just like how it happened, which wasn't for, I, I didn't even know it was going to happen, it got thrown at me, and everything that happened today was thrown at me, and it was hard and long, and I'm so tired, and I, the only thing I looked forward to every day of the shitty week was literally going snowboarding tomorrow, and if I go home late tonight, or I'm never going to get there, and it's like the only thing that I want. I, and I like you, and I want to get to know you, but, like, my sanity, I really need it right now, you know? I really need some fucking sanity right now, and it's not a you thing, it's, it's, a, it's like, I, I need it really badly. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we'll get the wine in the cards. We're not opening the wine yet, because if you, wanna, if you decide you want to leave, I don't want to get you more intoxicated to where you can't drive. If you decide you want to hang out longer, we can do the wine then. But we'll hang out, play games, and if at any point, it's 10.30 right now, if like at 11 you want to go, feel free. Deal? And I will, no harm, no foul, I'll totally see you next week after you've had your snowboarding time and are relaxed and can come hang out and you won't worry that like I have terrible, awful intentions to like use and abuse your virtue as a woman or something like that. Fair? Honestly, we can go somewhere quieter that is not fucking here, which is kind of tiring because it's so fucking loud. We can have one more drink and chill, and like, and then I'm gonna leave. But this right now, it's loud and it, it, it brings more exhaustion. So I, I don't, and I'm, I, it's too much right now to do the whole hard wine thing. Like, sure. I'm just kind of. I agree. Shot. I agree. Grab your jacket. I'll take some. It's like such a good